In this tutorial, we're going to create a shaking blur transition effect like you've seen in the very beginning of this video. It gives a real cool effect. So if you're interested, follow me. First of all, let's go to the first track here. Let's count back 10 keyframes. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And S key is split. Go to event pattern crop. And I want to create a shaking effect here. So make uh, make sure sync cursor is selected. And let's drag this in just a little bit. We don't want too much shake. Too much shake is going to look not really well. So start putting some keyframes down. And for the last one, right click, restore. So let's move the shift key down. All these keyframes now have a little diamond in the middle. So right click, copy. So this way we won't have to do it in the second track. Here's the second track. Let's come back 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hit the S key split. Go to event pan and crop. Click, right click, and paste. And there's already keyframes in there, so we didn't have to do it. See some time. Okay, so let's go to video effects. Let's go to linear blur. It's like 30 degrees light. Check out to the first track. Set this to zero. Click the animate button. Drag this to the end. And let's bump this up to say 220. Two forty five. That's good. I'll do the same on the second track. We want to bump this up. Do the same amount. Hit that animate button. And drag it to zero. So that effect should look something like this. So it gives a real cool effect. So if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching.